Right hand down. Right hand down. Oh, yeah. This is the, uh, this is the start over there. Here's the fuel. Is it already on? No, no. It's armed, yeah. Let me get the engineer's attention and then we'll Engineer, what do you think about this? Yeah, it's already on. Engineer, pay attention, bro. Ready? All right, we're starting one, or three. All right. Engine number three. Right, squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold. Get down here. Should here be rotation we got the fuel. Fourth gauge down. We got duck pressure. It's moving. We're going to check our right, gauges we're right there. We're looking for 20% on that gauge. It's coming through 10. Looking for 20% for the N1, N1 right? The N1's moving. See, it's going. All right, coming up on about 17, 18, 19, 20. Fuel, out and up. Fuel, pull it up. All the way up. All the way up. Yep, rapidly. And now we can engage your, fuel. your uh, DGT, it's lighting off. It's good. Coming up on 40% on the N2, release your right hand. Leave it where it's at. You got the N2 to the uh, DGT still looking good. good. It's not right. getting too high. Uh, you want to have to shut it off if it's, if it's really accelerating. So that's, that's the way you know it's too hot. If it jumps up there rapidly, just go ahead and shut it down. The engine, the engine These are very right? cool starting engines. All right, let's check the parameters here at Idle. Eeper, as you can see, is in operative. Okay. In, you see the throttle? Pull it all the way back. Now you should have about 35%, 28 to 35. Yeah, about 35%. It's actually about 35 and a half. Alright. It's dropping down. Oh, yeah, I got 35. Yeah, it's close enough. Right. DGT should be about 350. Yeah, about just well, high. Almost 380, 375, yeah. 380. This one's high, but I'm okay with it. N2 should be 52 to 62. So what are you reading on that? About 58. 58, yeah. So you're good. Fuel flow should be about 1100 to 1300 pounds. Okay, right. About 11 to 1200. Okay, so it's a good stable engine. All right, now, take your number three throttle, move it up till you get 2,000 pounds per hour fuel flow. Moving up the throttle. More power. Yeah. We're gonna move into 2,000. 2,000 pounds per hour. Fuel. All right. You know, you get the feel of it. All right. Now. 2,000. Notice the heater didn't move, so we know it's broke now. Yeah. EPC is 4,000. 400. 400 degrees Celsius. We're about uh, 1,000. Yeah, about 48. Look at the small gauge, 48 and a half. 48 and a half. All right, N2 is about 70. Almost, you're yeah, feeling yeah. 70. Close to 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 70. Which one uh, here gave that to us how much it costs? The only one that tells you, it could be any gauge, to be honest with you. The ones we use for takeoff are the top ones. Okay. Any other time, you can set power with any of those gauges. You can set it with M1, M2, EGT, or fuel flow. All right. Uh, and I've yeah. seen different pilots that have different techniques. One yeah. guy likes to set temperature, another guy likes to set fuel flow. So, okay, tell us something about the home start and the, the, the hot start. If you had a home start, it would not accelerate past about 40% N2. Like the the N2, that's right. The N2 so won't go. Shut it down. Okay. Now, if it's a hot start, your EGT, the EGT will go through the yeah. roof, but the uh, RPM will be low, like maybe 20% or 25 because it, it doesn't have enough airflow going through, or it's got too much fuel or both. You shut your thing down. Shut it 